Some simple checks and adjustments to your vehicle can help reduce fuel consumption and could help save up to 30% on your fuel costs. And of course, they're a quick and painless way to benefit the environment too. Let's get straight into it. Don't fill your tank up completely. Fuel is heavy, so by filling the car up, you're adding quite a bit of weight. The less fuel your car has in it, the more efficiently it drives. If you fill it up slightly more often and put less in, say half or three quarters of a tank, it'll make the car run more efficiently. Remove the roof rack. A roof rack, even unused, adds wind resistance to a car, increasing drag and making the engine work harder. If you don't need it, take it off, along with anything else inefficient. Even closing the windows and removing any flags will make the car run slightly more efficiently. Accelerators are money pumps. Accelerate gradually. The harder you press on the accelerator, the more fuel will flow, but you can reach the same speed using much less power. As a rough rule, stay under 3,000 revs. Plus, if you accelerate too quickly, chances are you'll then have to brake hard, which isn't exactly efficient. Keep your tires inflated. Lower tire pressures increase drag on a car, meaning you need more fuel. So regularly check the pressures are correct and your car will need less power to keep it moving. Turn off the air conditioner at lower speeds. Air conditioning uses engine power and therefore fuel, so make sure it's turned off unless you really need it. The general consensus is it's more efficient to drive with the windows down and the air conditioning off at lower speeds but at higher speeds, it's better to use the air conditioning and keep the windows up due to the extra drag caused by having windows down. Save cruise control for motorways. On long, flat roads, cruise control helps you save on fuel by maintaining a constant speed, thus removing unnecessary acceleration. But used regularly on roads that aren't flat, it'll increase how much fuel you use because it's slower to react to changes in gradient, meaning it'll accelerate for longer than a driver would when going up a hill. Motorways are usually flat, so reserve it for when you can cruise along. Declutter your car. The lighter your car is, the less effort it needs to accelerate. By clearing out junk from the boot and not carrying any unnecessary weight, you can save a little more money. Any extra weight you ride around with ups your fuel consumption. While lightening the load won't make the biggest difference, every little bit helps towards keeping it down. Change up a gear sooner. Always drive in the highest gear possible without laboring the engine, so change up much earlier than feels natural. It'll take some pace out of your acceleration, but that's not a bad thing. If you have a fuel efficiency display, you'll be surprised how immediate an impact this has. Keep moving if you can. The most expensive meter you drive is always the first one when you start. If you can safely roll gradually up to a traffic light as it changes from red to green without stopping, it's more efficient than stopping and restarting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on how to watch TV without a license.